Hey guys, what's up? I'm Liz, the Splits of the DIY, and I just wanted to do a quick video to talk about the fact that I just made my first PCBs. Um, I ordered them from Oshpark, and as you can see on the screen, I designed it in Eagle. This is something that I've wanted to do for a really long time, but to be honest, I was a little bit intimidated. It seemed like it was going to be this really difficult, crazy thing, but it actually wasn't. So if you're kind of on the cusp of wanting to do something like that and uh, feeling a little bit intimidated, don't. Just go for it. Um, as you can see, the board's pretty simple, obviously, um, but for those that have been on the channel for a little bit, you may remember back in like November, I made a Raspberry Pi thermal camera project using a Pi 3, uh, the AMG8833 uh, thermal camera module from Adafruit, uh, and then to hold in the module, I had done this kind of like uh, proto board um, Pi hat where it has the header on the back and then headers on the front for the module just kind of plug in. Then we're just running the four wires for power, ground, SDA, and SCL for communication. Uh, and I always wanted to revisit the project, especially since I started 3D printing. Like, I feel like I could do a, like, a much more polished version of it. I also, at the time, even said this would be a good like first PCB project because there's no other components that you need. We're just plugging in the module and it just has to run those four connections to the Pi. So, that's that's what I did. I finally I followed through um, to get the Pi uh, bonnet form factor. I actually uh, referenced uh, an Adafruit board because they open source all their Eagle files for all their boards. So I downloaded one of their um, Pi bonnets. I believe it was actually their like proto board uh, one. Uh, and then just got rid of the connections, but left the uh, pads that goes to the the Pi header. Uh, and then I just threw on some. Uh, six pin female headers here for the the thermal can to plug into I used calipers to figure out how far apart to leave them And I'm pretty excited that I was right in my calculations like it seems pretty perfectly so that that's exciting uh, That was the one thing I was kind of worried about because um, whenever you're measuring something like that. It's like Yes, no, maybe <laughs> and then uh, you see here. I've got a JST connector uh, That's gonna be for an arcade button to hook in here, and as you can see, uh, one's going to ground, and the one's going to one well, of the data pins on the Pi. Uh, I'm not going to reveal yet exactly what that's for, but all in good time. But just know there is some expansion going on with this project. Uh, and then you can see I've got the traces running. Here's the ground trace. It's like it's pretty simple, like to do. Just like I just watched a couple like pretty basic tutorials on YouTube, uh, some from Adafruit, some like kind of random ones, some from actual Autodesk themselves. Uh, and yeah, I was kind of off and running. Um, you may see the text is a bit jumbled down at the bottom. That's because I've got text on the front and back at the same spot, uh, just so it's like visible. Uh, and so I've got the, the name of the board, the AMG 8833 Pi Bonnet, v, Pi Bonnet V1. And then the back, I threw Blitzy DIY Winter 2018 uh, just so I can always remember like when I made this board. And I just thought it was kind of a cool touch to throw that on the back. I also wanted to kind of experiment with like doing stuff on the back. Now I know there's probably like different ways to design this to make it a little bit more streamlined or whatever, but keep in mind this is my first time ever using Eagle in general and then also my first uh, boards. Uh, so I'm really excited. Uh, you get Oshpark. Uh, I used Oshpark for the fabrication. Uh, they're uh, open source and everything. Um, and the minimum order is three, so I've got three of them, uh, and it's pretty cheap, and you just upload your Eagle file, and it's off and running. And uh, I liked how you got emails kind of like letting you know where the boards were in the process. That was nice. Uh, and I only did um, USPS shipping, uh, not the cheapest one, but the second one where it gives you a tracking number, and it was like really fast, and they're on the West Coast, I'm on the East Coast, so that was... Pretty cool. So uh, another difference from the project is I'm moving it to a Pi 0W. Uh, this is actually just a zero. I've got a W over there, but um, you can see the form factor matches up, which was also cool to see. Uh, just because I think for the housing, it'll make things a little bit easier uh, instead of trying to throw a Pi 3 in there. And also it's a lot less expensive to leave a zero inside a project than a Pi 3. So, yeah, next step's gonna be soldering everything up. Uh, I'm gonna be doing that in a bit and testing everything out. All right, so it's about two days later, and as you can see, I've got it nice and soldered up. It's attached to a Pi Zero. Thermal cam module is plugged in, and you can see on the screen that we've got the 
it, the script running on the Raspberry Pi. Uh, I do have to change up the script as you can see like it's coming in sideways because I actually had to reposition the module uh, so that it would fit on a, um, a Pi Zero bonnet uh, form factor. Uh, so I had to kind of flip it, but you can flip it in software. I just haven't done that yet. I was just running the script I'd used before. Um, but it is definitely working, which is awesome to see. I can get myself in frame. You can see me kind of waving really slowly. I am noticing a difference with the processing speed for the Pi Zero. I've actually only used a Zero before um, for the uh, Petal Pi from Electro Smash uh, and um, the Retro Pi build I did. I've never used it running Raspbian. I'm definitely noticing that it's slower. I don't think it will be fully detrimental to this project, um, but it's something I'm going to have to kind of keep in mind because uh, if you, I don't, I don't know how many people saw the original um, project, but basically like I extended the script in Raspbian so that I was getting a higher pixel count. Um, otherwise it was like kind of small and um, I'm just wondering if I might have to shrink that down a little bit, uh, depending. Um, but I'm using a small screen. Uh, it'll be a small screen on the back here so that you can see it in like real time. So I'm not, I don't know, I'll have to play around with it, but I, I just am noticing that processing speed. Um, but it is, it's working and <laughs> the board's working. Uh, the only thing I haven't tested out yet is the button cause I don't have that in the script yet. Uh, but yeah, everything's, everything's working. And, um, soldering up these boards was awesome. Everything fit perfectly um, like how I had it planned out in Eagle, which was really awesome. I, I wasn't entirely sure if it would work, you know, like this was my first time. So yeah, overall fantastic experience. I'm super excited and uh, don't worry, there's going to be like B-roll and time lapses for this project um, once it's all set. I just wanted to give kind of an update on where it is and also just kind of talk about the PCB and let me know by the way if you like the style of like mini project update uh, compared to like the um, bigger work in progress project blogs I was doing I just I feel like this might be a little bit more effective like just really quick video um, just talking to the webcam uh, just to give people uh, an update if I do anything kind of cool like this um, but that's gonna do it for this video on my first ever PCB uh, if you liked it, toss me a thumbs, toss me a thumbs up. Uh, leave me your questions, comments down below. I will have the source files up for this board, uh, and also I'm going to add the open source hardware uh, symbol on here as well. Um, I just wanted to test out the design uh, first, make sure it was working before I shared it, and I may edit it a little bit before I fully post, but I'll probably post up the original design that I have here as well, just so people have it available if you want to take a look at it. Um, but yeah, that's gonna, it's gonna do it. Uh, I'm really excited. I'm really excited for where this is gonna go. And I, I can't believe it's working. Like, it's so crazy. Oh my gosh. Uh, I'm totally nerding out. Um, but, uh, yeah. Thank you for watching. Uh, consider subscribing more content like this and to see where this project goes in the very near future. Um, and until next time, this is from Blitz City DIY.